Apparently the audience loves to see two old geezers get on stage and act silly. Yeah. The, they, they say it's our fi farewell tour, so I guess we're going to want to go on hospice after it's over with. <laughs> so Joe Bob says get on your Hawaiian shirts and your grass skirts and your coconuts and get out there to that Calweta Baptist Church at 8.30 Thursday night and audition for My Fair Lady. If you find a weapon here that won't kill, you bring it back. We'll give you something that will. This is Elmer Watkins from Clan 249. And I'd like to ask each of you to take a minute to think about ducks. It's tough being a duck. We have a lot of quick changes, all these costumes here. We jump out of one and into another and become a different character. And these ladies are the ones who make that happen. Now we're backstage with uh, my dressers and I have three beautiful dressers. I have Sue Johnson right here. And this is Sue Corman who's frantically working on one of our costumes. And this is my gorgeous wife, Pat. And they are responsible for about 37 costume changes that we do, but we have to do it very quickly because we walk off stage and appear on stage as someone totally different. And matter of fact, maybe a woman, maybe a man, and maybe a dog. So, uh, uh, and, and unfortunately, I, I don't put a lot of costume on for the dog. And don't you go lying to me about trade school. Vera Crop said she saw you spend half the morning yesterday sitting in your car in front of the grocery store. As a matter of fact, if you can't come to this play and spend about two hours with belly laughs, something's terribly wrong with you because this thing uh, even gets us to laugh. And then the, the, the hardest part is not memorizing the lines, it's just having straight faces throughout the show.